Today in our 2012 Ford F-250, we're gonna install the Pollock seven-way connector in the pickup bed. Part number PK11893-11932. To start our install, we need to go ahead and cut the hole in the pickup bed. On this application, we're gonna mount it just behind the driver's side wheel well. The flat spot here, to mount our seven-way right in the side of the bed. Go ahead and take our hole saw bit and make our hole. Now we'll go ahead and take the seven pole end of our wire and feed it up from underneath the pickup bed through our hole. Now that we've got our wire fed through the side of the bed, we need to push the wires into our connector. Make sure you follow the color code precisely when installing your wires. Number one on our connector is red. Before I get too far, I'd like to go ahead and install the center pin so that it's not difficult to do later on. And that'll be number seven, which is gonna be our yellow wire. The number two pin is going to be our, for our white wire. That's our ground. Number three pin is going to be for our blue wire. Our number four pin is for our green wire. Number five pin will be the black wire, which is our 12 volt battery feed back to our seven pole. And then our last hookup today is gonna to be the number six pin, which will be our brown wire. Now that we have all seven wires hooked up, we're gonna take the blue locking trim and install it. This will lock and hold our connection points in place. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and plug it into the back of our new seven pole connector. Line up the locking tabs, firmly press it in place, and then throw the gray lock button. Now we can go ahead and install the seven way into the side of the pickup bed. Using four self tapping screws, we'll go ahead and mount it right here into the side of the bed. All right, now with the seven pole mount in the pickup bed, let's go ahead and get underneath and route our wires and make our connections under the bed. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the bracket holding the current manufacturer's seven pole on. There's two bolts holding the bracket. This will give us access to remove the manufacturer's wiring from the manufacturer's seven pole and plug the new Pollock seven pole in line with the manufacturer's wiring. Let's go ahead and remove the two fasteners now. To give myself a little extra slack, we're also gonna go ahead and remove the plastic tab holding the wiring in place on top of the hitch. Then we'll press on the connector lock and disconnect it from the seven pole. Now let's go ahead and route our wire over to the hitch. The wiring up over the frame here along the channel of the bed. Keep in mind when routing your wires to stay away from moving components such as steering or suspension or excessive heat such as exhaust. Now we'll route it over here to the manufacturer's seven pole. We'll go ahead and make a connection on the vehicle side first, firmly plugging them together, connecting the locking tab in place. Go ahead and plug the manufacturer's seven pole into the new seven pole connector coming from the pickup bed. Now we can go ahead and reinstall our bracket. Next, we'll go ahead and use some black zip ties to secure our wiring. Now with our wires secured and all our connections made, that'll complete the install of our Pollock seven-way connector, part number PK11893-11932 on our 2012 Ford F-250.